this is Aksana Burr Fine Art and welcome to Technical Thursdays. In today's video, I will be showing you how I create an ATC or an artist training card and talk to you through my drawing process in a time lapse video. So I will talk to you what the, these cards are, what you can do with them, and uh, hopefully you will I gained some information by watching it. So stay with me and enjoy the video. So the first thing that you want to do when creating artist trading cards is to get the right size of the card. The right size is two and a half by three and a half inches. And uh, you can either buy pre-made one Oh, you can go a different route like I'm doing in this case. I'm uh, using a bigger piece of paper and cutting it into the required sizes for the ATCs. So for me, this is a cheaper way to go, um, especially if you buy large sheets of paper and uh, it will make you a, quite a decent amount of um, trading cards. So here I'm just measuring and cutting at the end. Uh, uh, from uh, the larger piece of paper as you can see. Now one thing you may or may not know is uh, that um, artist trading cards were created by a Swiss artist uh, in 1997 and that then it became a movement and so it's uh, practiced among the whole uh, world where artists trade with each other these um, miniature works of art. All right. So now I'm onto the stage where I'm uh, taping it to the board. In this case, I'm just use it, using a clipboard since they're quite small. So you can see that um, I am uh, uh, attaching before I start my sketching. And I decided to go ahead and do the sketching by hand in this case. Now I really, really enjoy doing the freehand sketching. And since this is a a small size of paper, I decided that um, it will put um, a more authentic feel to it if I just did it by hand from my own photo reference of the butterfly and the flower. And I, I'm i not drawing exactly, but I'm, I'm making my own um, decisions uh, how I want uh, uh, the whole overlook to be resulting in the end. So I'm using artistic uh, license in this case. I am keeping certain things. I'm also not keeping certain things. Uh, again, this is your uh, mini art, all right? And you are in charge of uh, what you want the viewer to see. And before I uh, start with uh, the colored pencil, I am uh, erasing unnecessary lines as I don't want them to be prominent and um, uh, looking pretty sharp uh, because that will interfere with uh, colored pencils I'm applying. Uh, for this um, project that I'm doing, I'm uh, using actually the water-soluble colored pencils by Caran d'Ache, they're museum aquarelle and uh, they work uh, great both in, as wet and as dry. Uh, in a dry form. So I decided to just um, make this whole art of work uh, using only museum aquarelle pencils and to see how I like it. And that's another tip I want to give you. When you're not sure uh, about the certain pencils brands or pencil brands combination to use in your original like a bigger scale artwork, Go with a small artwork, e either if it's an artist trading card like this or if it's just a small study. And that's where you're able to test out some of the brands or combination of brands and see for yourself uh, when you go on a bigger scale what might or might not work for you. So I am actually really liking doing on a small scale on, in this case as it's given me an opportunity to experiment. So I'm applying these uh, pencils in a dry form uh, on uh, Stonehenge White uh, by Legion uh, paper. And 
I am just blocking in the colors as I will be later using the water to uh, dissolve the dry form because I think that will create a really nice rich look and then I will go back again with the pencils in the dry form. So call it uh, another painting because we are going to dilute it with water. And uh, as I am applying uh, the, the colors for the black butterfly, I am using other colors that uh, make up the black color. In this case, uh, the combination of dark greens and dark blues. So now going in with the water, I'm using a, a lot of control, small round brush by Anna Mason, and just um, uh, diluting all the colored pencil that I applied. And I really like how it, it looks. The transformation is amazing. And before I move on to the next step, which would be the application of, again, of the same uh, water uh, color pencils, uh, I would be making sure that this is completely dry. You don't want to go back in with uh, on, while the paper is still wet. Now, one thing is that helped me with tiny details and I'm not used to working on a small scale like this is occasionally using a magnifying glass and the magnifying glass allowed me to see better details and much easier where I need to apply certain shades. So it really, really helped me. So right here you can see uh, me using the magnifying glass. It, it, it's really a life changer, isn't it? I really, really enjoyed uh, doing this underpainting uh, by mixing with water. And now I'm going back in and adding more color, more depth, and mixing more, uh, adding more layers having just fun and that's what I like this is a, I'm not a, trying to impress anyone or uh, I'm not trying to make this exquisite work of art this is more like I treat it as a fun piece a fun um, work of art that could be done in any medium and uh, uh, any paper this is again uh, lots and lots of experimentation and you can create like series if you wanted, uh, create multiple artist trading cards and then you'll have um, with other artists that you can exchange or trade with or give to somebody that uh, you care for, you love uh, or a friend with as um, a nice token of gratitude or thank you note or anything that could be. These are amazing. I love, I loved actually creating on this small scale lots of details um, well actually you can go either by adding a lot of details or you don't have to add a lot of details because uh, this uh, the small pieces like this uh, they don't necessarily need tiny details so it's going to be up to you how much effort you're willing to put and what your intention of your piece will be so i hope you enjoy the rest of this time lapse as uh, i am just playing with the uh, combination of different colors and layers in between to uh, create this uh, trading artist trading card.
You can see the finished artwork um, that I created uh, by using the Carandash Museum Aquarelle. My overall opinion is that I absolutely love these pencils. They are buttery and soft and they are so easy to layer um, and they're excellent in both dry and wet forms. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope that you enjoyed uh, uh, my process of creating one of uh, the artworks for the trading card and I would love for you to create one of your own and trade with another artist or another person that you love or care for 
I would love to see what you come up with, what medium you would use, and and um, just be free in your own decisions. Uh, this is a really cool way to create something small and at the same time uh, original and personal. So I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.